Hi, Myrthe here, and today I'm going to make this New Year kitty card. Cats are my favorite animals, so I'm in love with the stamp set from Katzelkraft. So I also had to use one of these cute kitties for the card today. And for today, I'll go with this one. I stamped it down on some marker paper because I'm going to color it with my alco markers. The alco markers I use are the twin markers from the Action. Colors are the same as the touch markers you can find on sites like AliExpress. Your budget markers and of course they don't blend as well as Copic markers, but for the price I really like them. I only just discovered something weird about them. Because some of the markers I have twice because they come in sets. And here I just showed you the color 77 I already had in my stash. And now I'm going to compare it with the new color 77. And as you see, it's a completely different purple. So don't throw away your doubles. I wanted to give the cat a little shade of purple and for that I'm going to use the darkest color 77. I'll color the cat in cool grays and a little shade of purple as I showed you. So I'm going to speed up the process and then I'll meet you in the end. After coloring, I fussy cut the cat, and to make it look like a perfect cut, I'll color the borders with black. I cut some silver glitter cardstock, slightly smaller than the standard card base. I also wanted to use some pattern paper. For that, I'm looking through my Christmas design paper block from Craft Sensations. It has some pretty star pattern papers in it and also some great galaxies. And here I'm just going through the designs to find something I like best for my card. Finally, I decided to go with this one. I cut a strip out of it that fits the silver background. Here I'm rounding off the corners of my silver glitter cardstock. And I'll also do that for one side of the pattern paper. This way they perfectly fit together. And this is how the background will look on the card. Here I decided the card needed something extra, so I used this golden thread and wrapped it over the middle of the card. This way it created a border between the blue design paper and the silver cardstock. 
I adhere the thread at the back with some washi tape and no one will ever see. Now it's time to glue the silver cardstock down to the card base. Therefore I use some liquid glue, so I can move it around a bit until it's in the middle of the card base. By the way, the card base I'm using here is a black pre-folded card. I wanted to add a little more dimension to the card, so instead of glue I used some foam tape at the back of the design paper. Sorry for my head here, I tried to place the paper right in the middle since foam tape isn't very forgiving. I also wanted to give some dimension to the cat since he's the focal point and he had to stand out. For the front part of the cat I only use one layer of foam squares. That's because this part of the cat will come over the blue design paper which already had some foam tape underneath. However for the back of the cat that will come over the silver part of the card I will use a double layer of foam squares. This way the cat will stand out of both parts of the background. Now it's like the cat is watching the stars that are raining down the sky, just like fireworks. I die cut these letters from some gold mirror cardstock and then I place them on my cards to spell the sentiment Happy New Year and now it's time to glue them down. And again for this I'll use my Nouveau Deluxe glue so I can move them around a bit until I'm happy with the placement. To give the cat more dimension and also some shine, I used my Nuva crystal glaze on the eyes and the nose. Because I can't stop myself, I wanted to add more embellishments to the card. And for that, I'm dropping down some random dots of glue. Now I have these tiny stars that match perfectly with the golden glitter cardstock I used for the sentiment. So I place them on top of the random dots of glue. Now the card is finished, I hope you had fun and here are some close-up photos of the card. Thank you so much for watching! If you liked this video and you want to see more, please check out my Instagram. Bye!